Hey, what's up you guys? Coach Nick here. Sorry, I have not been able to update in a while. Um, haven't been able to move the way I'm accustomed to. So I took a short sabbatical. Uh, six months ago, June 9th, 2021, I tore my right ACL while jujitsu rolling with a buddy. Uh, big strong guy, brown belt, really good. I was on top mount and my right leg got caught underneath as I was being rolled over. Total fluke accident. I knew something was wrong because I heard a series of popping tears like uh, ripping apart a bunch of chicken bones at the joint. I got up and tried walking and my knee buckled, so I got an MRI as soon as I could. Here's the MRI from June 19th, 2021. The red lines are where my ACL is. It should be dark and solid like my PCL. See the blue lines? Instead, it's blown apart and wavy like torn rope fibers. The diagnosis was high-grade complete tear of the anterior cruciate ligament and a tear in the posterior lateral meniscus. It was really hard to accept. You hear and read about athletes tearing their ACLs and it's like a career ender. Never imagined it would happen to me. My Kaiser doctor has only recommended surgery and refused to recommend regenerative medicine, even though my insurance covers PRP. I have friends that got ACL reconstruction surgery and even though it helped some of them in the short term, there were long-term effects that I didn't want to deal with. I plunged myself into studying ACL regeneration. I read medical journals, watched YouTube videos, and reached out to doctors and martial artists that dealt with torn ACLs. I changed my diet. I started fasting so my body could focus on healing. I stopped drinking beer. I lost 15 pounds in a few months. I also started taking supplements like Cysis Extract, Ligaplex, Collagen Peptides, Glucosamine, and Resveracel to promote ligament healing. But the most aggressive regenerative therapy I pursued was a series of different stem cell procedures. I had to go out of my insurance network and treat myself. Three weeks after the ACL tear, I had 1 million mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, from cryofrozen Wharton's jelly injected into my right knee at Golden State Medical in San Ramon. Four weeks later, I had platelet-rich plasma, or PRP, from my own blood platelets, injected into the same knee. A week after that, I had 25 million MSCs and 1 billion exosomes from cryofrozen umbilical cord into my knee and IV at Infuse MD and Milpitas. I also went through various blood cleaning and recovery techniques at their superhuman clinic. Three weeks later, I got more PRP. A week after that, I did prolotherapy with dextrose at Advanced Regenerative Orthopedics in San Rafael. The next treatment, a week later, was by far the most intense. Their huge needles couldn't penetrate my bone, so they had to drill four holes into my hips to extract the bone marrow. They harvested 680 million cells and put them directly into my ACL, with leftover PRP into my left knee. While recovering at home, I had to use an old man walker, and it was a pretty dark time. I had two more PRP injections at Golden State and Advanced Regenerative Orthopedics for a total of eight treatments in three months. During that time, I also started to rehab my knee at Golden State Medical and continued to teach Muay Thai kickboxing at Danville with more emphasis on boxing. Four months after the ACL tear, I started rolling again. Here's one of my first rolls since coming back. A huge positive of this injury is I appreciate flow rolling so much more now. Here I am with my buddy Daniel Ripper. He's a black belt, a real estate agent, and also coaches at Danville with me. He's letting me move around while being mindful of my right leg. Notice how I keep my right leg as straight as possible. I can't really bend my right knee, so my left leg does most of the work. I am slowly gathering a selection of partners I can safely train with. I even started rolling with my buddy Scott again. Which brings us to today. I got my six month MRI to the day of the injury, December 9th. Results are, the previously noted tear of the lateral meniscus is not seen on this study, which may be related to interval healing. The ACL demonstrates intact fibers, suggesting partial tear improved from the prior study. So here are the two MRIs side by side, six months apart, from a high grade complete tear to an improved partial tear. I'm really happy to see progress. This has been a learning lesson. My knee is still not 100% better, but it's only been six months. I have to keep taking care of it and look forward to the one year MRI in June, 2022. If you ever have a severe knee injury or torn ACL, I hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching and be safe.